poop in the toilet! Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <coughs> Did I scare you? Yeah. Today, we're gonna be checking out some scary videos. Please take a second, do me a favor, and just click the subscribe button. It'll really help the channel grow. It'll help me feel better about myself. And boy, you better get that out of here. And yeah, comment down below something scary. You can put abandoned buildings, you can put demons, or you can put after your dad uses the bathroom. Let me know. And let's go! <gasps> Ghost found footage. <gasps> oh, heck no. Okay, all right. Girl, what are you doing? Wake up! That's bad. It's time to move to a different house, move to a different country. I would have had my bags packed. 10 minutes ago. If you walk in the room and you see somebody playing with your daughter's hair and you walk up and then the arms just leave, they just go away like this. That means your house haunted, man. That means you gotta get the heck up on out of there fast, quick, and in a hurry. You didn't even braid her hair. I mean, come on, man, what, what the heck? Waste of time. You best believe I want my money back, you crazy ghost. What I'm about to show you is the photo Katrina Whaling captured on her ring camera the other night. So Katrina lives alone down a long country road in West Texas. And three nights ago, she invited a friend over for dinner at 7 p.m. But seven rolls around and her friend's not there. And then eight rolls around and her friend is still not there. And that's when Katrina starts to hear footsteps outside. Slow at first, but then it starts to sound like someone is running full speed at her house. Thinking it's her friend, she goes to open the door, but no one is there. Mm -hmm. So Katrina calls her friend, but then when the other line picks up, it's just heavy breathing and then laughing. She's really freaked out now, so she runs upstairs, but that's when she gets the notification that someone is at her front door. And this was that someone. Katrina is still alive to tell the tale, but there's been an uptick in Reddit users complaining in West Texas of hearing someone outside and then answering the door to see no one is there. Uh, it might be time for y'all to move out of Texas. If you see this face at your front door, you better get the shotgun. I'ma set down some landmines, you coming up at my door. Oh wait, I have Postmates coming, so that's not good. My bad. Scary things caught on camera. Let's see. Three friends are exploring an abandoned building. <gasps> Ooh, oh no. Get out of there, man! What are y'all doing? You crazy white people investigating? You go to explore an abandoned building and you see this? What you about to do? I'm about to exit to the left real quick and then I'm going to McDonald's. Get me a Big Mac and then a large fry, two apple pies, and then a McFlurry, Oreo McFlurry. Mm. Hey, you want an Oreo McFlurry? You know what, never mind. You would never stick around in a school library at night, and this is the exact reason. This picture was captured by Jalen Nell. She was in her school library, and this is the entrance point, and she's in there at like two something in the morning, and she thought she was completely alone. Until she realized that there was another woman in this library, and she was being watched. She ends up deciding to leave because she feels uncomfortable, but before she does, she takes this photo of the entrance to send to her friend and tell her about this creepy woman. But I want to look at this photo a little closer. In the frame, <gasps> she had unknowingly captured the woman who was staring directly at the camera. This visual is chilling. Jalen would actually end up reporting this incident to student affairs who then checked the camera footage at the entrance of the library. What really unnerved them is that when they looked at the footage, they never saw this person leave the library. What? They never saw her leave the library, so she's still in there while students are like going around uh, studying and researching stuff. That's scary. Honestly, it's probably like a homeless woman that snuck in there and like stays in the attic. She lives in the walls of the library. But yeah, come on, out of all places, you really want to live in a library? There ain't no food up in there. Live in a Walmart, that'd be perfect. You got all the snacks and all the games and electronics you, you could ask for. Lady's not thinking. Come on, lady. Here, I'd like to be your manager. You know, never mind. All right. <gasps> what was that? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry, I just was not expecting that. You can't just have a dog walking upright like that in the house and not warn me ahead of time. It just like out of no, especially at night, that's scary. Jeez, but I didn't know the dog, he only has like three legs. Okay, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I didn't, you know, I did not know before, but you know, I'm sure that's a nice dog. And that's good that the dog knows how to walk on upright. That's cool. But just don't be doing that at night, okay? You're gonna scare us. Terrifying Games You Shouldn't Play, Part 9. 
The Answer Man Game If you win this game, any questions you might have in life will be answered correctly. But if you play it incorrectly, you'll lose more than just the game. To play this game, you'll need to gather 10 of your friends and have them stand in a loose circle. Each person should pull out their cell phone and call the person to their left at the same time. At this point, one of two things will happen. Either all of the phones will go to voicemail, in which case you'll have to try again, or one of the phones will get an answer. The person on the other end of the phone is the mysterious answer man. He will answer any questions you have in life correctly, but be warned. For every question you ask him, he will ask you a question as well, and you have to answer truthfully or you'll lose the game. If you cannot answer one of his questions truthfully, he will come for you within the next couple of days and collect his payment in flesh instead. In order to end the game, you must repeat that it is time for the answer man to go until he finally hangs up the phone. He will try to argue with you and even offer you bribes to let him stay on the call, but you must stay strong. It's also recommended you destroy the phones after the game. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. What? You want me to destroy my brand new iPhone 14? Well, okay, this is a 12, but you know, you know what? Uh, <clears throat> I'm working on it. Playing the answer man game? I ain't, yeah. Not today. Only thing you gonna answer is the questions to my homework. Come on, I need that done, like, like now. And bro, are you wearing your work uniform? Don't be doing that during the TikTok. Are you a mechanic? Like, that looks like a mechanic's uniform. Like, like, bro, can you please give my car an oil change? Like, like, please, the check oil light has been on for like six months. You forgot to shut the window. Thanks for reminding me. Ew. You ain't getting no Can Halloween candy. We can't get in this time. You creep. But what about the front door? Oh, heck no. <laughs> this is why it is important to always close your windows and lock your doors, okay? It's broad daylight and she's showing up right outside the window and the door. You're just gonna come in uninvited? Like, what's, the wrong, what's wrong with you? Where are your manners? I mean, girl, you're supposed to be uh, respectful and polite. This is my house. You don't pay me no rent. She does? You been paying me rent? Oh, well, okay. All right, come on in. No, I'm just kidding. Don't come in. Like, stay stay outside and, uh, you know, go go off and back to the sewer where you came from. Find out how Pennywise is doing. Show you a scary video? No. Because this video literally made me jump. And it also had a bunch of news articles written about it. Personally, I found this video during my Twitch stream through one of their videos. La Huella del Terror. Apparently, this video comes from South Africa, and it was posted on August 29th, 2022. So in the video, a couple starts to hear strange sounds at 3 a.m., and then this happens. Oh, no. Baby, baby, come on, see, baby, baby. It's time to leave, man. Time to move. Time to go somewhere else. Go home. Wait, no, they are home. You see this thing outside your window flying towards you? Uh, bro, spray it with raid. Or just give up, man. Put your hands up and, uh, you know, surrender. Wave the white flag, man, because you ain't, I don't think you're about to get away from that thing. Got away from you, mama. Okay, anyway. Uh, ma'am, you have a tail. Don't grab and pet her tail, you pervert. Now I'm pacing my heart as racing <laughs> What? Look at this girl trying to play it off like she didn't do anything. We caught you on camera. You was caught in 4K, girl. I mean, actually, that's like 420p, but like, you know, it's fine. Trying to look inconspicuous, girl. You guilty. I hope you don't get in trouble with the law. We sending you straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. If you've seen this man in your dreams, I have some bad news. So this is Hatman, and he is one of the most commonly seen sleep paralysis demons in the entire world. Hatman. And here's how you know if you're about to see him. First, you'll wake up in the middle of the night and you won't be able to move at all. Like you'll feel completely paralyzed. Next, you'll feel a crushing feeling on your chest like something is sitting on it. 
And when this happens, it's going to be very hard to breathe. And at that point, there's nothing you can do. That's when Hatman comes into your room. Many doctors believe that Hatman is just a fragment of people's imaginations, but a lot of people think that he's shown up in photos like this one or this eerie one that was taken on the day of these women's mother's funeral. In the next part, I'm gonna read some stories of people who believe they've seen him. Dang it, girl, just giving me nightmares. I will never wear a hat again, otherwise Hat Man's gonna show up. But I mean, he could come up with like a better name for the dude, like, like Hat Man, like, come on now. You could even call him like the man with the hat or like, like some, I don't know. Guys, we'll come up with something better than Hat Man. And girl, quit brushing your eyebrows. That's my job, I brush my eyebrows. What in the actual F? Yeah. Cause we keep it family friendly here, clean videos, learning, education. Uh oh. Google Maps. <gasps> oh, what is that? What in the Harry Potter is going on up in here? You have like dang flying tarantulas in a cage? Why is it animated? It's like, this is Google Maps. What is going on? Oh, heck no. The brooms! You got witches brooms up in there! Hanging up, nice and neat! That's crazy. And a dang Harry Potter clock. Elon Musk? What? What are you doing up in here? This dude just bought everything. He bought Twitter, now he bought this Hogwarts house. I don't know what all this is, but uh, yeah, I guarantee you I ain't going there, not today. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead, give it a like. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one.